this guide's going to show you how you can produce indirect effects in a structural equation model using bootstrapping in AMOS. Um, this is the model here. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the experiment, it's not that important really. Suffice to say, we're looking at the indirect effect of condition on this variable, unacceptable, which is someone's opinion that somebody is of an unacceptable weight, and the indirect effect of condition on this variable here, which is the extent to which someone thinks somebody is unhealthy weight. So the indirect effects from condition can work from condition through this mediator here, norm onto unacceptable weight and from condition to look onto unacceptable weight and the same thing applies to healthy weight as well. We can go through this mediator or we can go through this mediator. So in this model there's two indirect effects we need to look at. The effect of condition on unacceptable weight through these two mediators and the effect of condition on healthy weight through these two mediators. So by default AMOS isn't going to produce you any indirect effects, you need to ask for them. So we've been to view and analysis properties. First thing we want to do is in our output tab here is indirect, direct and total effects because we're interested in the indirect effects. To produce these you need to go to bootstrap, tick perform bootstrap. This default of this is usually 200 but we can set this to 1000 and then we'll ask for bias corrected confidence intervals. Again, default for this is usually 90. This is to allow you to have an indirect effect that is P less than 0 0.05 for a one-tailed hypothesis. Um, generally speaking, you can err more on the side of caution, actually 95% confidence intervals instead. So this is now going to perform you your bootstrap we close that and we click run. So we'll go through all the model fix. We're just going to look at the bootstrapping. So what we need to do is we click on estimates, then matrices, and then indirect effects. This will activate our bootstrap area here. And as you can see, this gives us an estimate. It's standard error. So it's produced you a bootstrap estimate, a bootstrap regression coefficient for the indirect effect, along with a standard error. Gives you a two-tailed p-value for your indirect effect, as well as the lower and upper bounds of your bootstrap confidence intervals. So if we look at our estimates to begin with, these are just regression coefficients. You can see there's loads of zeros in here. That's because there's no possible indirect effect the condition can have on luck. Why is that? Well, condition to look is a direct effect. So it can't possibly produce you an indirect effect with the effect of this variable on this because there's no indirect pathway at all. There's only two possible indirect pathways in this entire model, which is condition to unacceptable, condition to unhealthy weight. So we've got our two regression coefficients there. So the indirect effect of condition on an unacceptable weight has this regression coefficient. 0 0.019 and to unhealthy weight has a regression coefficient of minus 0 0.037. Standard errors, however, this doesn't tell you that much. What's really important is we want to look at our confidence intervals and the two tailed significance of it. So if we click on this, they'll all appear on the screen together, which is a lot more useful. So if the first thing, if we just drop down straight away to look at the two tailed significance. So as you can see, if you look at unacceptable, there is not a statistically significant indirect effect of condition on the unacceptable variable. However, there is a highly significant indirect effect of condition on the healthy weight variable here. If you look at our confidence intervals, again, this will also back that up as well. And we can see that the confidence intervals from conditions from healthy weight, the lower bound, is minus 0 0.002, the upper bound 0 0.055. Of course, because these numbers straddle zero, there's a zero falls between these two numbers, we cannot have a statistically significant effect here. If you look at it for the unhealthy weight, however, we've got 
an indirect effect of the lower bound for the indirect effect of condition on unhealthy weight is minus 0 0.067 and the upper bound is minus 0 0.017 so we have a statistically significant as we know from this as well negative indirect effect of condition on the unhealthy weight variable and we write all this information up accordingly remembering to give the estimates along with the standard errors and then we write up the significance along with the confidence intervals for the indirect effects as well.